Hey, uh, this is Rock here. I'm here with my brother Edmund. He came in from California working on our swings. So what I'm working on today is getting back, still trying to get my uh, belt buckle around my knee, you know, opening up my hip here and trying to really sit back into my left butt and try to get my top of my body up over the ball. So we're, we played 16 holes, so going to hit a couple. Nice. So a real nice ball. So the big thing I'm starting to feel now, the more I work on it is, it really helps out my brother out here because he's feeling the same thing. You know, right here, you know, open the hip to here and then feel like you're just sitting back into the left hip and getting the chest out over it as much as you can. And when we feel that, we're both getting a lot of power, real hitting it straight. Got through that one, a little baby cut. That felt real good. Like I said, a little baby fade. I feel like my right elbow is starting to get out in front of my hip a little better. Let's see if I can just go a little bit more, get my left uh, upper body up over, out more a little bit. Let's see if I can get a little deeper. Damn, Doug, those are all within a 10-foot radius of each other out there. You can draw a circle 10 foot around them. They're all within that. All right, so those are three solid ones. I'm going to try to hit it a little harder this time. Yeah, just right. past the others by five so that feet. just went past all in real good shot. So again, you know, I just keep working on what I learned at the UVA Speed Clinic. Stabilize this knee, try to get my belt buckle turning around the knee. Spin this hip open without getting a lot of lateral slide. Just spin it open and then keep going back as far as I can. Keep feeling like this gets out over. The more I can get this out over, the elbow starts getting in here, whereas what I was doing a lot of is get here, allow a lateral slide, then my elbow's stuck in here, and then I, I got to do a lot with my hands. So why don't you go ahead, Edmund, hit a couple, okay. see what he looks like. Edmund, uh, he's a CEO of uh, Space Information Labs in California. He doesn't get to play too much, but he, he was a scratch golfer in high school and he has a great golf swing so you'll see that um, he's working on the same thing I was working on today a nice setup okay a little left but solid good shot Evan it's in the fairway
touch. That hip action. He's trying to get the hip action. There it is. Great Push shot. Him, baby. <laughs> Did I get it past Big Doug? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I got past big on that one. I don't know, it's going to be close. <laughs> All right, guys, try one more of those. Maybe that's Definitely. my calling in life to teach. Coach got him smoking them. <laughs> oh, Eddie. I swung so two foot behind that one. <laughs> All right. Can't end on that. All right. See, that's the thing. That's the thing that all golfers struggle with. You hit the best drive of the day way out there and then try to get a little bit more and then yeah. the whole thing fell apart. <laughs> it's all up in between your brain. I just sat there. I got too juiced up. <laughs> Lost all what I was doing. So what are you going to try to do on this one? I'm just going to swing nice and smooth. Just fire my hips. I try to jump it. Okay, real solid, went right with long ball, good shot. All right, Evan, so what do you feel about this move I'm working on right now? What's your thought? First time in a year I think, of playing? Yeah, I mean, it's real important. You get your hips turning around that spine, and then first thing from the top is you just move that hip down, out, quit more quickly, and then stay back and just let your hand snap right over. Yeah, so that's a lot of power in there. All right, cool. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good day. See you. Bye.